kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that fan. weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive.
<laughs> then with a <the> kick. <laughs> Other Then the extra point. That's it. Complete to Zach Pascal. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Here's Carr. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Number 28, John Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, and they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle it. That's what you're looking for. First down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. We'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down Vegas as Carr finds Ruggs that time. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. Intercepted. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. 
And he will be taken down deep in Las Vegas territory. That's good. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Joe Burrow's sack. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. His throw caught right around the six. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Call on a nickel set for third down. 56, the mark, 56. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13 yard line. An eight yard loss brings up fourth down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13. So let's get an update on what's going on. We'll start up in the Steel City, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, we head down to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And this one going the visitor's way as the Texans have the lead in that one. Deshaun Watson has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles. At and okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently, we're going to get right back. to it. 